This is amazing. Now we have Olama tool call. That is function calling for Olama. In the official blog of Olama, you can see tool support. The example tool use includes functions and APIs, web browsing, code interpreter, and much more. As you can see here, when you ask a question like this, it is able to use the function calling tool or the tool call and get you the result. So when you ask a question, what is the weather in Toronto to a large language model or to AI, it will respond saying, I don't have real time data. That is the issue if you don't have tool calling. But when you enable tool calling or function calling, then you can see what is the weather in Toronto. If I ask the question to the AI, then it's going to use function calling with the name get current weather and the city Toronto. And then that information will be sent to the get current weather tool. That could be your own application, which is capable of getting the current weather. Then the weather is 18 degrees Celsius returned. And that is sent to AI or the large language model to give you the final answer. The current temperature in Toronto is 18 degrees Celsius. That's why we need tool call. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can perform Olama tool call. The basics, we are going to create a weather application. That is a basic application and integrate that with Olama. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Olama tool call. In this, I'm going to take you through step by step of creating a weather application and converting an application like this, which is not able to respond correctly to an application like this, which is able to respond correctly. And I will explain you how you can integrate your own application to any large language model and then able to parse the tool results and give you a response specific to your own tool. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, pip install Olama and then click enter. But if you have already installed Olama, you might need to upgrade by typing pip install hyphen capital U Olama to upgrade to the latest version. Then after that, let's run Olama pull Llama 3.1 and then click enter. This will download Llama 3.1 large language model. But before that, if you haven't downloaded Olama, make sure you go to olama.com and download Olama application. Olama is a good application which helps you to run a large language model or AI in your own computer completely for free. So now we have successfully downloaded the large language model Llama 3.1. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, first, let's import Olama. Next, import request. Now, next step, we are going to create get weather application. So get weather application is step number two. So creating a function called get weather application. And it is a simple application. This could be your own application. But in my case, I'm using a weather URL, getting the weather by passing the city and returning, saying the current temperature is this in this location. That's it. So after this, step number three, Olama tool call. We are going to integrate this application with Olama. Response is equals Olama.chat and then providing the model name Llama 3.1. And the user question is, what is the weather in Toronto? And this is the change which comes in Olama package. That is tools. So we are going to add this parameter and define what this tool does. That is get current weather tool does. So here I'm saying get the current weather of a city and the properties is city. That is the required field. So if I send a city to this function, this will respond with the current weather. So this is just the basic description of telling the large language model what this tool does. That's it. So you can modify this based on your own tool. So if you have some other tool other than get to current weather, you're going to explain that tool here, then large language model will understand when to use the tool. As simple as that. Now we have successfully integrated our tool calling with our tool. Now the final step is that we need to parse the output like this. So I'm going to print the response to show you how this is going to look like before going further. Now in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now we got the response. So it gives the model name, the tool call. So this is where the large language model received the question. We asked what's the weather in Toronto. Based on that, the large language model is sending these values, like the what function to use or what tool to use, and the only argument, that is 
Toronto city. So we are going to parse this data, then send this data to the tool. So what is parsing is nothing but extracting. So I'm going to read this tool name and also the city name. So coming back to my code, just deleting this. Parse tool name and arguments. So tool name, this is how you extract the tool name and then arguments, this is how you extract arguments. And from that, I'm going to extract the city name. Now we got what tool to use and what is the name of the city. And we are going to use this tool and send the city name to this tool. To do that, we're going to call the function with past arguments. So just I'm calling get current weather and passing the city, that's it. Now that is going to use this get current weather tool and return you the result. Finally, I'm going to print the result, print result, that's it. As a quick summary, first we created the get current weather tool. This could be your own tool. Then we used olama.chat and first in messages, we are asking a question. What is the weather in Toronto? And also we are passing the model. You can change this model based on what is your requirement. After that, we are giving the tool description or the function calling definition, what this tool does. After this, we will get a response from the large language model. Then we are parsing the data and then calling the tool with the city name. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. The current temperature in Toronto is 18 degrees Celsius. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate your own application to any large language model using function calling or tool call. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.